but I find it simplest to illustrate it by hearing without comment so that you can get into tune with what is. You can't really get out of tune with it, but we don't know that yet. <laughs> Maybe some of you do. <laughs> Hello. Welcome to the show, Trucking Tendencies. Boop. Please like and subscribe. Can you subscribe to this? Share it. Um, comment down below. Yeah, this one's going to be... This one is funny. Actually, a hazard. It's a hazard. Episode 49 flip-flops yeah flip-flops in the industry drivers wearing flip-flops when they drive it's um, a hazard um, yeah when you're walking around in your flip-flops um, it's just an accident waiting to happen um, you know just injury to yourself um, you know so you don't want to hurt yourself and that's like that's probably one of the quickest ways um, that you will hurt yourself um, wearing flip-flops because uh, there's no secure you need to be secure ten toes on the ground and wearing flip-flops you can you can slip off or they slip off because during an accident the first thing that happens actually uh, in a accident is uh, your shoes fall off uh, it's weird like the first thing that comes off is, are, are always your shoes um, and you know you don't want to lose a toe or something uh, but I've been, I'm guilty of it too I do recall this is an example of what happened to me when I was wearing flip flops so I was um, um, this was a story about the truck breaking down the pre-def uh, regen truck I think it was a 2007 Columbia Freightliner and it was backed up the filter was backed up and the engine ran away on me and <clears throat> excuse me and I was on the exit and I took it out of gear and the engine redlined and it kept redlining and it redlined and it redlined until a point where the temperature got so hot in the coolant that the water, um, the heater hoses and all that good stuff exploded. And the engine kept running. And <clears throat> under the hood, I was wearing flip-flops. And it was right off of the exit of um, Cherry, Cherry Avenue in Fontana, California. And the... Um, the hose exploded because so much pressure so much heat and I was wearing flip-flops and the um, the water sh shot back and like jetted back through the through the hood and onto my feet because I was standing on the sidestep trying to figure something out like I really had no like I was my hands were tied I hadn't I couldn't do nothing so I stepped out and uh, yeah my feet got like burnt it didn't get like second degree or anything like third degree i don't even the degrees is it first degree second degree third i don't know which one it was but it didn't get that bad it wasn't that bad uh like my skin wasn't falling off and stuff like that but it was terrible like i'm like oh like it did i did hurt and that's an instance where you know i should have been wearing my um a good pair of boots or something um and also like when you're in warehouses and stuff um they usually have a a minimum like office depot wants you to always have a steel toe boot or something like that so um yeah it's a safety concern wearing flip-flops and you know who's doing like not just a certain individual or a certain race i think every single race does it from white to Hispanic to black to Chinese, every single, everything, they're, they're the ones that wear 
flip flops. It's just the class of, it's just the knowledge in, in the understanding of having um, that information that it's a dangerous thing to wear flip flops. And I'm not sure if it has a, um, if you can get a, like a citation or something or some sort of ticket, a warning from the police officer if they pull you over and you're wearing flip flops. Uh, I can't, I, I don't know if that's true or not. Yeah, wear your good, you know, slip-resistant shoes, and if you need to wear a steel toe, get some steel toe boots, and be safe, you know. Um, that's, a, that's the number one concern, safety. Um, so, thanks for listening. You guys have a nice day, and eyes on the road.